Assalamu alaikum. In today's tutorial on Win2K, we shall discuss how to analyze the results of SCF calculation using W2 Web interface. I have results of several SCF calculation saved in this directory. So if we use terminal, you can see that there are several folders and I usually save the results from SCF calculation in different folder with different name to make it easy for me to organize and to use at a later time. So the 01 here indicates that this was the first calculation and the system was titanium oxide and the accents correlation functional that I used was PVE. This is same as 01 but this time I did a spin polarization calculation. I shall use the results from this folder first. To do so, I may use restore LAPW but I usually use CP. So there is another advantage of writing folder names in this way because if I now just type 01 and hit tab, it will take the full name because no other folder is starting with 01. So to select all the files in that folder, I put star. Now I want to copy all of them to this current working directory. So I put a dot here. Then I see that we have all the results. Here is the SCF file. Here is the structure file. If we click here, we can visualize the structure. So this is the titanium oxide rutile phase. So I will use the results of SCF calculation for this system. Now to analyze the result, we will use analysis under the utilities. So if we click on the analysis, you can see there, there are many parameters. Some are atom independent, some are atom dependent. There are also parameters that depend on spin polarization calculation. You can get the details of, about these parameters in the user guide. So I am using Win2K 19.1 version. If we scroll down a little bit, then at this point, there's 4.4, the case SCF file. If I click here, it takes me to this, the description of this. Here it says, when it is written colon E and E, this is the total energy in Diedberg. DIS is the charge distance between last two iterations. Also the atom dependent parameters, CTO, there is the total charge in the sphere for atom 1, atom 2, etc. And the size or the radius of the sphere is determined, determined by RMT. Now if we go back, let us select this and I will use test SCF file that I have here in this folder test SCF and let us uh, select last 10 lines first. So you can see these are the energy values, total energy values recorded in the SCF file. The, the line started with colon E and E and from the SCF file, it took all of the line, then last 10 lines are printed here. That starts with colon E and E. Similarly, last 10 lines with, uh, starts with DIS and these are the charges in the sphere. So these are the charges in the first sphere. These are the charges value in the second sphere. Now, there is an option to select or to visualize this graphically. If we check this box and click on the analyze SCF file, you can see it shows all the results in different plot. And But here you can see the SCF file ended in 13th iteration. Since I selected only last 10, so it plotted for the last 10 only. But I can select more. So let's select 50 lines. 
then if you click now you see that we have all the results but there are some other things also you can see from here the energy values are positive and the small values whereas the energy total energy are negatively large values what it did it took the first one or scaled the first one to be zero and all the others is scaled relative to the first one that's why the first one has zero and all the others are relative to the first one so these are not the exact values whereas these are the exact values now uh, for uh, analyzing uh, this is good enough but if you want to include this graph in your project or thesis then you should plot it in the exact values of the energy you may not include this in a publication but students who are writing report or project should include this graph because this shows the how the calculation converged now to get the plot only for the energy plot with this total energy values i have written a script you can get the script from my site if you go to the script section then you will find a plotting energy convergence graph the script i suggest that you save the script in the win2k folder since i already have the script i shall not do it now from the terminal for the first time and this is for the only once i need to make it executable to to make it executable i write this command now i can run the so you see here this is the nice plot in the y level this is the total energy you can see these are the exact values and the x level is the number of iteration the in the terminal the values are also printed and it says that the graph is saved in two format one is png another one is eps if we use ls we can see these are the graphs now if you don't want to see the graphs if you just want to plot them you can use s as a first argument in the uh, with the with the script then it will only print the results and uh, save the graphs it will not do it will not show the graph now this time i want to use the results from this folder so i need to delete all of them to delete i want to use rm star if i use like this rm star it will only delete the files it will not delete any folders so you can see rm cannot remove this folder because this is directory or folder similarly all the others you can see here yeah. now i shall use the result from 02 so these are the results this is spin polarization calculation that's why you have spin 2 uh, sorry scf2 up and scf2 down so if i go here and uh, click analyze you can see now we have the graph there is a different than the previous one and the charge uh, distance also the charges of the spheres well i didn't say anything about this before but this is important because from here you can see the charge has been transferred from atom 1 to the atom 2 these values are not very meaningful because they depend on the size of the sphere that is the values of rmt but you can conclude that charge from atom 1 has been transferred to the charge atom 2 because the charge in atom 1 is decreased and charge in atom 2 is increased and the system is ionic now let's select the magnetic moment that i want to see how the total magnetic moment change in s in, the, in during the scf calculation and let me select the fermi and, and the gap so i have this magnetic moment and the gap and fermi plot but with the energy i have some extra lines what i didn't see before this is happen because for some parameter in the analysis file that is created when you use the analysis 
there are some extra lines. Let me show that to you. So, when you use analysis, it creates a file analyze.out. So, if you open it, you can see these the iterations of SCF calculation finished in 16 as iteration, but it should stop here, but there are some extra lines. I think they are because of this thing, because when you see the gap, you have the total gap and you have spin dependent gap. This is maybe because of this, we have these uh, lines. If, uh, if you want to plot this graph with the relative values, you can use this file and you can use these values, the values in the first two columns. Of course, you have to delete them before you use this to plot. Now, with the uh, analysis, you can do even more things. Say, if we have several SCF files, let me copy the SCF file from the folder 1. I will copy it in a different name because I already have one with test.scf. So, the test 2.scf. So, now I want to analyze the results from these two SCF files. In the usual calculation, you may not, you will not have more than one SCF, but when you do volume optimization calculation, you will have several SCF files and you need to analyze sometime. So, since I am using several SCF files, I will click here and uh, let me write it start.scf so it will select all the scf files and uh, for the last one line only i want to see and i don't want to see any graphs so you can see the total energy values this is different both a uh, little bit different because they are in from different scf file different calculation though they are the same system but one is spin polarization and another was not spin polarization so, the magnetic moment, uh, there are only one file, uh, the one file has the magnetic moment, other do not have it. That is why it is uh, printed for this only. So, you can use this. There are also options uh, that you select your own parameter from this list here, which are not included here. You can do the same also with the script. So, if you run the script, You see, it shows that there are two SCF files, which one you like. So, for example, I want to use this one. So, it will show you the print and it will also tell you what SCF file it selected. Now, as I have shown you before, I have several folders. So, for example, I want to use the results <coughs> from this folder. So, with the script, I just select the name <clears throat> and say I do not want to see the graphs, I just want to save them. So, if I use S, now it says that it selected the SCF, titanium carbide SCF file from this folder and these are the energy values and iteration. The results are saved in, with PNG and the EPS format. If we go to the 03 folder and we can see these are the results. If you want to see it, you can see this is the graph. Okay, that's all for today. I think it will be helpful. Thank you.